guys, I'm Melissa Joyner and we're here at the Boathouse in Myrtle Beach, South Carolina. In this series we're going to be plugging you into the music scene here along the Grand Strand. Today we have Sean Brown with us, he's playing one of his original songs called Bangerang for you. Make sure you stick around because we're going to learn about the man behind the music. Alright, this is my song, Bangerang. Waking up, get out of bed, brush my teeth, run a comb through my head, and I say to myself, oh, 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 now I know what he meant. What a wonderful world. No care about your fancy car, your expensive phone, your fake cigar. You can take it with you where you go, and my friend, oh, oh. Getting old is oh so easy, she said Getting old is no big deal to me And she said Getting old is oh so easy, she said and She said Don't give up, don't give in Think about all that you've been Through so much and yet so little Why do I feel so brittle but oh Getting old is oh so easy, she said Getting old is no big deal to me And she said Getting old is oh so easy, she said She said, don't give up, don't give in Think about all that you've been through so much And yet so little, but why do I feel so brittle? But oh, getting old is oh so easy She said, all I need is the air that I breathe And she said, someone to take care of me She said, getting old is bang a ring to me And she said Sean, thank you so much for coming and playing your song. I always love hearing you with your band, but it's a whole new experience getting to hear you by yourself. So thank you so much for coming. Thanks for having me. I was most excited for this interview because you're one of the few people that can honestly say they've seen the evolution of the music scene here. So I was wondering, just to give a little bit of insight to anyone who's watching, how has this music ch scene changed in the last 10 years? It's a good question. Um, original music has pretty much died. There's no original music venues anymore. It's all covers now, so we're stuck doing what we can. We try to pepper them in when we can, but I think that's the biggest thing. So your song, Bangerang, I didn't want to pick which one I wanted you to play. I really hoped you played it, but could you please tell the people who are watching at home, what is that song about? Ah, it's a song about getting older, going with the flow. Um, life is all about what you make it. So um, there's no reason for excuses. We all, the shell gets tired, but I think the brain gets a little wiser. <laughs> for sure. Uh, so <laughs> I think it's just about uh, taking life the way it is and making it easy as possible. I love that. Yeah, when you told me you were playing that one, I was so happy because, you know, people out there, like you mentioned before, they hear covers. They don't get the opportunity to hear the things that come from our soul. Mm -hmm. Being a songwriter, and maybe you will agree, it's like taking your diary pages and going, here's how I really feel. 100%. Yeah. yeah. How did you get involved in music in the first place? Or as I like to say, when did music choose you? Hmm. My mom had a baby grand piano in the house and we were tinkering with it for a good while and I enjoyed playing it, but I hated the lessons. <laughs> and um, I think I wanted to be cool at some point. I was like, I want to pick up the guitar. I want to learn the Metallica cover or something weird like that. And I think I was chasing women. <laughs> I was about 13 and I was already had those feelings. So 
I uh, switched to guitar and started picking up tabs, uh, I guess at uh, Harris Teeter, I think is what it called, or ah, one of those grocery stores. Ah, absolutely what it was called, yeah. And I uh, picked up those little guitar magazines and I was excited every week for a new one to come out and learn a new song and look at tabs and uh, began from there and then I just, I was addicted. That's know. so cool to hear your story because it's funny, when I started playing music I had all these reasons I thought I wanted to do it and to be cool and it ended up, you know, I don't know that I ever became cool but everyone else is always drawn to it. How many bands are you actually in or have you played in around this area? Uh, Bullfrog, Bangarang, uh, Circles in Autumn, so three bands, and then multiple solos and duos, and it's really nice to have a great music community here, so get to play with a bunch of different people, from cello to piano to uh, double bass, or stand-up bass for the layman. <laughs> yeah, um, yeah. Uh, so it's enjoyable. Do as much as we can when we can. So Sean, if you could go back in time and choose one song and say that you wrote it. What oh. song, I know, what song would you, uh. what song do you wish you at could say you wrote? This is such a uh. fun question. Okay, first thing that comes to mind is Floyd. I don't know why, I've just always been a David Gilmore fan. Mm. Uh, something off Dark Side of the Moon. Uh, maybe Brick in the Wall, I think that's one of my favorites. Uh, to hear, to play, uh, uh, thoroughly enjoy that song. I actually love your version of that song, by the way, so I'm glad you picked <laughs> that song. Yeah. Well, it's a tough question to really answer, honestly. Um, we, I guess we go through different phases mm. in life, you know, so the time, the season, the feel. Well, you actually just listed some of my favorite musicians, so that makes me want to ask this next question. Who influenced your music and still influences your music today? Mm. A lot of different influences. Um, lately, uh, my influences have been uh, Phoebe Bridgers, mm. uh, Kaleo, a fantastic, yeah. fantastic male vocalist. And then, uh, yeah, I, I guess you'd say uh, Little Erica Badu still has been, uh, mm. she's got that swagger that I enjoy. That and those runs. And then Jeff Buckley is my all time favorite uh, singer of all time. So. Yeah, it's so cool. I love asking this question. <laughs> I love asking that question because when we get to listen to your original music, it's fun to hear those different influences that come into play. Okay, what is your dream venue? If you woke up tomorrow and could play anywhere you wanted to play, and I'll take that one step further, you could add anyone to the show that you wanted to, what would your dream lineup and dream venue be? Oh, it's another tough one. Um, I'm not really too consumed about the venue. I think it's about the people and about the music. So as long as there's a lot of people. Yeah. Um, and uh, they take something with them. I think that's the overarching scope, you know, that's what it's about. Imagine a year from now, if you were to look into the future, what would you like to say to Sean Brown in a year from now? Oh, uh, hope you're still doing well. <laughs> hope you're still alive. Hope you're still writing music. And uh, hopefully the uh, audiences are catching on. So Sean, I'll close it out with this. This year, as you know, especially as an artist, has been a crazy one, a crazy Jumanji game that no one had the rules for. <laughs> I've personally been able to find inspiration being around you guys. You know, we got stranded here and there's just the small things I've appreciated. But I was wondering, for someone like you who played so many shows and everything's changed, what have you found inspiration in lately? It doesn't have to be music, it can be anything. Uh, well, a couple things, the people. Uh, becoming receptive to music again and listening to originals and and I uh, also recently just got a piano I've been tinkering with again so I'm going back to the beginning like Vincini from Princess Bride um, it's <laughs> bringing me back to uh, when I first started playing music and I get to tinker with it I have no idea what I'm doing but uh I'm finding a new love again for another instrument, so that's kind of exciting. Yeah. Oh, that's so good to hear, because that's something you don't think about. But just you and that instrument, no rules, no expectations. That's mm -hmm. beautiful. Yeah. Well, speaking of beautiful, guys, thank you so much for being a part of this. Tune in every single Friday. You're going to hear amazing music and interviews just like this. So tell your friends, share the video. We'll see you every week. Don't give up. Don't give in. Think about all that you've been through so much and yet so little Why do I feel so brittle but oh It's getting old is oh so easy She said Getting old is no big deal to me And she said 
Getting old is oh so easy, she said. 